Good morning. I've got my coffee and I've got my Bible and I hope that you do as well. Today is Holy Tuesday, which is an interesting day on the Holy Week calendar because it's a day full of conflict and, and really controversy. Uh, you see, the previous two days, Palm Sunday and Holy Monday, the Pharisees have decided they've had enough of Jesus. And uh, scripture even tells us that on Holy Monday, after Jesus had cleared the temple, they made the decision to kill Jesus. So Holy Tuesday was really the beginning of them trying to figure out how they were going to get rid of him. So they begin to question him and, and try to trap him. And there's a lot of conflict between Jesus and the Pharisees on Holy Tuesday. But I don't want to focus uh, this morning on any of that. It's a great study for you to do, and I encourage you to do that. What I want to do is look at a story out of Mark chapter 11, and it actually begins on Holy Monday. So we need to backtrack a little bit to see, to get a little background information so that the story that happens on Holy Tuesday makes a little more sense. So read with me, Mark chapter 11, verse 12. It says, the next morning as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry and he noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off. So he went over to see if he could find any figs, but there were only leaves because it was too early in the season for fruit. Then Jesus said to the tree, may no one ever eat your fruit again. And the disciples heard him say it. Now, that's an interesting uh, scene, and there's all kinds of questions about what was going on there. And again, I encourage you to do that study. That's not what I want to focus on this morning. What I want to focus on this morning is what happened the next day. So if you jump down to verse 22 of the same chapter, or verse 20 of the same chapter, it says, The next morning, and this is on Holy Tuesday, as they passed by the fig tree that Jesus had cursed, the disciples noticed it had withered from the roots up. Peter remembered what Jesus had said to the tree on the previous day and exclaimed, Look, Rabbi, the fig tree you cursed has withered and died. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen but you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. But when you were praying, first forgive anyone you were holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. See, they walk back by this fig tree and Peter in his usual brash style tells Jesus what he already knew. Look, Jesus, this fig tree that you cursed is actually dead. What you asked actually happened. And it's what Jesus says in response to that is, is what I think is important for us this morning. He tells his disciples and he's telling us, have faith in God. And remember, Jesus knows what's happening this week. He knows what's going to happen the rest of Holy Tuesday. He knows how this week is going to unfold. He knows how difficult it's going to be for his disciples. And so he begins this week by telling them, you need to have faith. You need to believe. See, it's easy to have faith when everything is going well. It's easy to have faith when we know how things are unfolding. We know what, in, in general, what tomorrow is going to hold. Real faith comes when we believe in God, when we don't understand, when we don't know what's happening, when things are difficult. And Jesus tells them, I tell you the truth, you can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. There is power in our prayers. There is power in our faith. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. That's probably the hard part, is us truly believing that something we're asking God to do will happen. But if we ask in His will, and if we have faith, and we believe it's going to happen, and we believe in our heart, in God, and in our relationship with Him, and our walk with Him, and that the things we're asking are in tune with His, with, with His will, then they will happen. So I want to encourage you this morning, as you begin this day or as you're wrapping up this day, whatever the case may be, to have faith, to believe in God today. And you may be struggling with your faith. You may be, you may be wondering how things are going to work out and you may be even questioning some things. And that's okay. I just want you to spend some time with God this morning. Examine your faith. What are the things you believe in? Who do you believe in? What do you believe in? Have faith deep down in your heart that God is going to come through. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And again, we'll see you tomorrow morning.